Hello and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be reviewing my Beastland Mesozoic Chasmosaurus. So yeah, let's get going. But first, I'd like to, I don't know, I made a different video. I don't know if it's going to come out before this one. But yes, I'm going to be reviewing stuff on my desk now. So yeah. Anyways, to start off quick, before we get onto the figure, I'm just going to show off the box. Huge. So, yeah, up on the top here it says be some mesoic. Then, so that, I don't know. The Ceratopsians have been out for a while, you probably understand. Logo, all the other figures. And they got the sleeve. Which, I think the sleeves are nice, but I think I'm definitely glad they changed now for the dinosaurs. And then, quick, I also want to show the background they included for this figure. I don't know, I just really like it. It's very, it's just very cool. And I really love that they include these backgrounds because you can pull them out of the box and make a really cool shot. Seriously. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to quick show that. And now let's get on to the review. Funny story before we start doing this, is I actually already filmed a review for this figure, but I just decided since I had a new background, I decided I wanted to. What? Anyways, yeah, this is definitely a figure I love. It is so worth the money. Actually, if you want to get this, I recommend it's on Amazon. Last I checked, for only forty dollars instead of the normal fifty. Plus, if you have Amazon Prime, you get free shipping. So, if you want to save, like, 10, 20 bucks on a BO10 figure, definitely go there. No, I'm not sponsored by Amazon. Why would Amazon sponsor a YouTube channel with 100 subscribers? Anyways, like, yeah, but, I don't know, I guess I'll just start with the color scheme. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Like, it's... It's it's amazing. It it really is kind of black. So one thing it is kind of navy blue too. Also a surprising thing I noticed. There's a lot of blue on this figure. Like that. I don't know. This camera needs to focus better. But like you can see, there's actually blue on a decent amount of places on this figure. Uh. Yeah. Th there's actually some spots of blue like on right here. I don't know. Cause, yeah, there's lots of different colors blended into this. So, would you would think simple color scheme, and yeah, it just looks awesome. Like I know, yeah, it just looks cool. I feel, and like Bionicle Source said in his review, kind of looks Japanese in a way, or like you know all the old Japanese buildings and that type of stuff, like the red and black samurai stuff, you know? It kind of looks like that. <laughs> if Cosmoceratops lived in Japan, it would be like the perfect Japanese dinosaur. But, no, it lives in Utah. Just another thing is, man, I really love how David Silva, between the Ceratopsians and the Tyrannosaurus, were really able to incorporate so because I'm just saying, you could pair this guy with the Nizutoceratops, the Teratophonius, and Utahceratops. Lived in the same place, which is very nice that you can build an ecosystem. I'm definitely excited to get all those figures. Anyways, we move on to articulation. First of all, you have the jaw, which opens to about there nicely, and then you can do this. Hello. So, yeah, there ain't no articulated tongue on this one. I thought there was, but I guess there isn't. It's just a tongue. Anyways, head. I guess one problem I have with this figure, though it's not really a problem because of how well the head moves, is the neck. It, oh, I guess I could get to go up there, but it, the neck area really just goes a little side to side. That's all it really does. <laughs> The neck doesn't go down. The neck kind of goes up, but... Like, I went back. A lot of times, if you try and pull the neck up, then you push the head down, and then when you're trying to put that up, then it pushes... I don't know. It's a minor problem. But, 
Yeah, definitely really nice, but you can do this if you want. You can totally do that if you want. If you're some cool person who likes to torture dinosaurs, well, I guess this is the figure for you. Then on the front arms, arms go all the way out like that. Feet swivel and what? And the f elbows, I guess, go like that. Works well. Then the back legs can get all the way around. It can get a little blocked by the torso, but yeah. <clears throat> and then, um, okay, forget all the names of different joints. Um, me. <laughs> And then, like, ankle and foot joints, which work well. There's a lot of different poses you can get this figure in. <sighs> you can have it sit. Like, you can have it running. Actually, that that's something I definitely want to point out with this guy. And probably all the show top scenes. It is amazing how much fun you can have just making walking poses with a dinosaur. Just, like... Seriously, there's so much good leg and foot and all that articulation on this guy. So, yeah. So, now getting on to the sculpt. It definitely is a nice sculpt. I've actually heard this. I've never seen a Cosmoceratops skull in real life, but that this, skull, this guy's head is literally the definition of accuracy. For it. Like, I don't know, with the Ceratopsians, because they have to share body set, bodies, some of them, I don't think all of them are perfectly proportionally accurate, but I know this one's head is, like, the definition of perfect. And you can just see, there's lots of nice detail in the sculpt. There's scales and scales galore. It just looks really good. Got the horns. Yeah, you can see what it's like. I don't even have to show you. It's just amazing to what you'll get for a BOT figure. So anyways, I'll start wrapping up the review. Quick, we'll do some comparisons. So first, here is the Heyman Collection Robert Muldoon 118 scale human figure. So you can see this is how big Cosmos are top. So it's in real life. And then next, I don't know. I, here it is with the Mattel Regaliceratops. Just one thing. So, if you are wondering, basically, this body size is about as big as a, fifth, I guess, $18 nowadays Mattel figure. So, if you're wondering how big, I don't know, uh, the Chasmosaurus, Nizutoceratops, Avisotops, Cosmosotops are. They're about a little smaller than a $15. And then, here it is with the big Mattel trike. Yeah, I'm definitely anxious to get the BOTM trike to put with. Also something I nearly forgot to point out. Here is the collector's card. And it has some really nice art. Probably not my favorite art in the series, but it's good. Then, and then you can see the stuff on the card. And then for a final comparison, I will compare it with the Beast of the Mesozoic Gorgosaurus. My only other BOTM figure so far. My first one. Focus. There. So anyways, that is about to do it for this review. I really hope you enjoyed, and so yeah, consider liking, subscribing, leave a comment, click on one of these videos up here, and bye.